Well, a nonprofit on the west side of the state is expanding to Detroit. It's called Warriors for the Homeless, and like many shelters, the mission is to get people off the streets. Uh, but the way they carry out their mission appears to be quite different. 7 Axe News reporter Matthew Smith is live on Detroit's east side. And Matt, what's so different about how they are doing this? Well, Keenan, it's a little bit of everything. First and foremost, you'll notice right away where we are. This is a house out here on Seven Mile and Gratiot, and uh, it's a tough neighborhood. In fact, uh, that's the one of the other things you'll notice. It is smack dab in the middle of a neighborhood. This doesn't look like the typical homeless shelter, but the changes that Warriors for the Homeless is making in people's lives, that is real. In fact, where they come from on the west side of the state, they have the lowest recidivism rate out there for any nonprofit. Basically, what that means their guys aren't making their way back onto the street the same rate that other people are. Now, the house is part of this, right? Uh, it's nearly ready for the guys to come on in. Uh, they're working to have these men, in some cases felons, former drug addicts, uh, they're working to have them come into this community, really help clean the place up, make it a better place as well. A priest is even going to be moving into his office and work right alongside these guys. A reminder that this is faith-based. In fact, the man behind the nonprofit tells me this isn't easy work, but it is God's work. If we do it, you won't do We'll reach out and put them right alongside, live with them. I live with five guys, you know, that they say, you live with five felons and you're worried? No, I'm not worried at all. I've never had a worried night. Once, once I get adapted into the, uh, the house, we have no problems. I've never had a major problem at any, any facility. And some of the guys have actually already been out here helping to work clean up the yard, this big area out here on Detroit's east side. Now, coming up at 645, I'm going to introduce you to one of the men who's a success story for Warriors for the Homeless, 68 years old. He has a history of alcohol and drug abuse. But get this, he's got his life cleaned up, and now he's going back to college. Why? He says he wants to help people like they've helped him. His story, again, coming up at 645, as well as more information over at WXYZ.com about how you can help them with their mission as it moves here into Detroit. We're on Detroit's east side this morning. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. All right, thank you very much, Matthew. Happy birthday, by the way. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Salute.